Survey the area, Zunin. See, soon. Tell about two. Eivor, tell about. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Flames and smoke will warm Rodri's desire for peace. Anir is a lesser concern. Peace is for suckling babes, but... As you like. Oh, my blood runs hot. 
Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah! I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chelbat, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. I... Soldiers, less support for Rodri.
Ende der Diabol. the last of them. Let us get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor! <sighs> Look here! Look upon this masterpiece! Eivor! Did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Femini. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water.
Oh. Hooked. Bring it to shore. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Hooked! Bring it to shore! Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah. A strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert. But my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chael Bert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor! Look where we landed! Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups! We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard! You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, 
Greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Have you seen Chailbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Ardaling. Ask another. I am looking for Chailbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Ivar. Peace. If yeah. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chailbert? Chail... Bert? Did none of you see Chailbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. Nice nab? That's a low thing to do to a man. Hm. I am looking for Chailbert. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain. South of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you.
my eyes sooner. <laughs> Jailbat's bow dropped. Tears of Rhea. Jailbat, uh, 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 you live. I... Uh, Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards. The Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Save your strength. Here, faster this way. Just breathe, Jailbat. We'll soon be there. Yeah! 
Some help here! Eva! Deolav! By the hand of Thor! Eivor! What happened? No! No! You foolish boy! What did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Eivor... Easy, boy. Easy. He... Eivor... Get me an axe! Right fucking now! Eivor... He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. The Britons did this. I found this blade in his chest. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav! Over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs! We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolfkist. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered? May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Sent the boy's body to his father. He will want the Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rotary is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me. Is that How are you holding up, Bishop? I am gutted by this loss. Chaelbert would have made a good elderman. And one day, a fine king. A king forged by Viking battle wisdom and Christian compassion. A formidable man he would have been.
You men, mount up and follow me. There's work to be done. I should have seen this coming. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rotary's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quartford, you told me Rotary gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? It's not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Uh, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating, put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my drangir sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers, but the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Brodry cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Pen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. Ivar's men waste no time. They are eager to pay out our revenge. <laughs> 